Right, another little plumbing job we all come across from time to time is the radiator valve leaking. I'm going to show you how to do this one quite easily. Um, now you can see this has been leaking and it's, it tends to lie around the top nut. If you see that, it's more likely not the nut but running down from the body at the top and building up around the nut. Eventually it runs down the pipe and you get this on the floor water so you know you've got a leak. Invariably it's not usually a union nor that union it is usually the rad valve. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, first of all there's a little screw in the top of the valve which we're going to take out with a posi screwdriver. Most of them are posies so get your posi screwdriver onto the connection and unscrew the top of this valve. We'll take the nut off, this uh, screw off first, sorry. Uh, once you've got that out you should just pull the top off Okay, and we've got our top off. Now if you look at the valve now, this is a fairly old model of valve um, and this has a little square piece to lock the top on. Uh, this just lifts off, as you see, nothing too much there. And what you've got then is a, is a hexagon nut. Now that's the nut that's leaking, the water is actually leaking up out the stem and running down. What we've got to do here, because there's a ceiling washer inside there that can't be, you can't get to it. Um, because it's all manufactured. Without replacing the valve, which would mean a drain down system, the easiest way is to repack this. We call it repacking, um, and it will replace the worn washer basically. So that spanner, as you just saw on that nut, undo it. It's fairly simple. Keep going and get the nut right off. Okay. When you get the nut off, you can see it's had water down there. You can see it's been leaking up out of that stem and running down the valve. So how to cure that problem. Okay, the easiest, most common way um, is this stuff. If you can see it here. Uh, it's a roll of PTFE plumber's tape. Uh, it comes like that. You get it from most builders, plumbers, merchants. They all do it, even uh, DIY stores do it these days. And just, just tear a piece off. A piece about that long. And just snap it off. Okay, and roll it together. Like so. It looks like that like a bit of string okay and wrap it around lightly around the stem okay when it's like that then you have to poke it down with something like a braddle which is what I like to use poke this stuff down get it going get it down the stem and that now that they may need more than that you might need less but start with a small piece, don't not too big, otherwise there may be too much to poke down to get the thread to restart on that. So we're going to go with that piece first, and then we're going to thread drill this down. Okay, now we're going to put that nut back down where it was. Moderately tight, not too tight so the spindle won't turn. But this particular valve, I think there's enough pressure on there. It's trial and error. Um, you will just have to wait and see whether it leaks after this. If it does, you're going to have to undo it again and put a bit more packing in until it does stop. It will stop it once you've got the right amount of PTFE tape around that nut. So I'm pretty certain that's enough because I've done millions of these being an ex-plumber. Um, I know exactly how much it's going to need. Put your top back on. Okay, and put the screw back. If you've done the nut up too tight, then it will be very stiff to turn. Uh, that is quite normal, it will wear down. But if you put way too much in, you won't be able to move it at all. So it should be just moderately stiff like that. If it's too loose and it's flipping around, then you haven't got enough in there. If it's moving just sort of stiffly like that, that is the right amount of packing and normally that will seal the leak. And as you can see, that has now dried up already um, where that has taken up the leak. So there you have it, very simple fix, um, do it yourself, save yourself a few bob um, and you can always tell the giveaway sign, just look for that water around the nut and a slight piece on the floor. Okay that's it, I'll see you again, uh, lots of other plumbing fixes on, on, on YouTube, uh, just look for Derriton33 and uh, I'll catch you again sometime.